and over at Great Lakes. It's time for the first pour of their Christmas ale for the season. It is that time. All right. Austin Love is there live right now this morning preparing for the fun. Having a good time? Uh, oh, Dave, I'm having the time of my life, pal. They don't call me the Clark Griswold of Cleveland for nothing because I love this day, love Christmas sale. we got to love me some Great Lakes as well. And, and I love my friend Adam Ritter hey, as well. Hey, yeah, great to be here again, man. And, uh, you know, we, we've done this for so many years. But this year is especially a little bit different because Christmas sale is celebrating a huge milestone 30 years. I, I mean, it's incredible just the impact that this beer has on people. But, I mean, d tell me a little bit about what 30 years means for Christmas sale to Great Lakes. Yeah, it's amazing. First brew in 1992 on this system right here. That's which amazing. Still wow. Is today. Uh, but Christmas sale, it's become, you know, a Cleveland legacy, right? It's, yeah. It's an institution. And first bar is the way we kick it off, so we're excited to have everybody back. And, and when I first moved to Cleveland, I, you know, everyone was just like, oh, cl Christmas sale, you know, it's this sacred brew, this holy of waters of, of beer. And, 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 I mean, what is the first pour? I mean, it's such a fun event. What can people expect when they come over here today? So doors open at 11 a.m., okay. and we have a first pour keg delivery. It's this whole ceremonial march. Uh, Councilman Kerry McCormick's going to be here for a proclamation honoring the 30th anniversary. Very nice. Industry. Okay. And then we're going to pour the very first pint of Christmas sale officially kicking off the Christmas sale season in Cleveland. Got to love that. And I also have to show off your sweatshirt right yes. here as well because it, it, this isn't Clark Griswold, although it looks a little bit like, you know, Christmas vacation. But there is a fun story behind this with Pat and Dan, who literally 30 years ago started from the bottom and have just really uh, grown Great Lakes into what it is today. Yeah. Shout out to our friends Amish. They made this awesome new sweatshirt they'll be on sale today but we have a station wagon because Dan and Pat would actually deliver Christmas sale in the early days to their friends family and partners in their station wagon pretty cool yeah that, that is very cool and so Christmas sale Poor today, as we all know, and there's so much that goes into it. What is 6,100 um, pounds, pounds of cinnamon? Yes. 6,100 wow. pounds of ginger and about 195,000 pounds of fresh honey that we source from Michigan. So still a handcrafted, the original recipe, awesome beer. Absolutely, and hey, we got our hands on it right now. And coming up uh, a little bit later, we're gonna be diving in to a little bit more of the history at, at 5.30. We're gonna be diving into the history of Great Lakes Christmas Sale, the impact that it's had on Cleveland, and of course, the uh, impact that it's had here on, on Great Lakes. And all of the on all of our taste buds are, of course, rejoicing like the angels when, you know, baby <laughs> Jesus was brought into the manger. We brought, th speaking of Christmas right now, but cheers wow. to you guys. Maybe uh, Flat Dave will also get a little bit later on today, so stay tuned. <laughs> I, yeah. I would expect nothing less. Right. I like how you also pretended like, ooh, what happens today? I've never been to this t Christmas ale tapping. Right. We know that you are front and center every never. year. Never. Right. Never. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm always up there, ready to rock and roll. Yeah. Right. Come up with another nickname for yourself here and let us know what that is at 6. We'll see in a little bit. Austin. No, that one was perfect, Dave. No, I'm sticking with it. Oh, okay. He's sticking with that one today, at least. Right. Austin, thank you so much.